हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज इस वीडियो में मैं लेके आई हूँ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू टीजीटी पीजीटी एग्जाम्स ऑफ ऑल लेवल इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर स्टेट लेवल टीजीटी पीजीटी एग्जाम्स यू विल गेट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव इंक्लूडेड दैट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर डी ट्रिपल एस बी के वी एस एन वी एस एंड ऑल स्टेट लेवल टी जी टी पीजीटी इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एग्जाम्स एस्पेरेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन एंड आई विल give you some time to choose the right answer yes friends main kuch time aapko dungi so that you can tell you can answer the right option and after that i will tell you the right answer so questions jab main start karungi aapke paas time hoga aap kuch us questions ko attempt kar sakte ho and khud aap apna analyze kar sakte ho ki how many questions i have correctly answered and yes after that after the last of the end of the video you will get to know how many numbers you have scored by attempting all these questions here in this video this is the first part and guess i will also come with the second part of this important multiple choice questions related to tgt pgt exams of english literature let's begin today's video begin with the first question of this video in langlands pears and plowman pears appears finally as yes we have the options here option a b c d friends you have to tell the right answer you have of time to tell the right answer aapke paas samay hai aap bata sakte ho main aapko 30 second ka time deti hu so that you can answer it correctly aapke paas aapko is option mein se batana hai langlands ki jo poem hai work hai pears and plowman usme pears finally kis फॉर्म में किस रूप में वो अपियर होता है यस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द राइट आंसर हियर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी यस फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द राइट आंसर जीसस के फॉर्म में वो अपियर होते हैं पियर्स जो हैं पियर्स एंड प्लोमैन के ऑफ लैंग लैंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इट इज डिसाइडेड दैट ईच कैंटोबरी पिलग्रिम्स वुड टेल इन ऑल this question most of you is known about this question and about the answer of this question it is said that each canterbury pilgrims canterbury tales mein jo pilgrims jo wahan pe dharmarthi the from where they were going to canterbury tales to pay tribute to pay uh, the shrine of the uh, canterbury and uh, how many stories each of the pilgrims has to tell in their way and in their from the return of that canterbury we have the option a b c d and the correct answer is option d option d is the correct answer four stories each pilgrims has to tell four story two stories from going to canterbury shrine and two stories from returning from there and total and the answer is option d four stories they had to tell and total number of the uh, stories would had been 120 because there were 30 pilgrims and each has to tell four stories but only 24 stories were finished by geoffrey chaucer in canterbury tales right now we have in history of english literature from of the book of the canterbury tales next question we have venus and adonis is a long narrative poem by this is a long narrative poem who composed this poem we have option a b c d and venus and adonis jo poem hai in long narrative poem form mein hai narrative form mein hai and narrative is the poem is called in which there is a story jahan pe ek story hoti hai and story is in long story that is called the narrative poem jisme narration hota rehta hai like a story one story and then other is story is connected with that and it is in story form the poem which is in story form that is called narrative poem and we have the option and the correct answer please answer it option a yes friends option a is the correct answer we will say shakespeare has composed this poem venus and adonis in a long narrative form next question number 4 we have the total number of poems in shakespeare's sonnet we have how many poems how many sonnets william shakespeare has written in his lifetime in his literary career and yes this is very easy questions 
question and uh, you have to tell the answer and option d answer is the d option d is the correct answer 154 sonnets he has written and 37 plays he has written and two narrative poems william shakespeare has written composed next poem uh, question question number fifth of this video lawrence turn tristram sandy contains how many volumes this work of lawrence turn who was the one of the four pillars of english novel lawrence turn was one of them and Tristram Shandy was in how many volumes? Please answer correctly and please fastly correct the uh, fastly attempt this question. Now I am going to tell you the answer of this question. Option B, nine volumes. Answer B is the correct option. Option B is the correct answer, and it was in nine volumes. Work of Lawrence Turn, Prince Time Sandy. This was in nine volumes overall. Number six of the video we have here. Which of the following is written by Samuel Butler? Yes, friends, Samuel Butler ne kon se work likha hai of these four options out of these four options. And you have to tell the right answer. You have time to tell the right answer and right option. option a b c d which one is the correct answer and uh, now i'm going to tell you the right answer answer c hoodie brush this was the poem composed by samuel butler this was composed by samuel butler and this is the work of the great writer samuel butler next question we have question number seven which of the following poem did milton write in octosyllabic Couplet, yes, octosyllabic couplet mein out of these four options, which one is written in by Milton in octosyllabic couplet? A, B, C, D. These are the options, and these all are poems composed by Milton. And you have to tell the right answer. And uh, question number seven ka jo right answer hai, that is option A. El Pansoreso. El Pansoreso is the poem composed by Milton, and it was written in octosyllabic couplet friends octosyllabic couplet hai a words a line of words which is written in eight syllables which, which has eight syllables in a line that is called octosyllabic and it was in couplet form rhyming scheme two rhymes uh, rhyme with each another next question number eight which of the following play is not written by Congreve. William Congreve ne kaun sa work hai isme se out of these four options which is not written by him. We have to tell the right answer and the right answer is option D. The relapse. The relapse is not written by William Congreve. All are written by Love for Love, The Old Bachelor and The Way of the World. These all are the work of the William Congreve. Next question. Dryden All for Love is an adaptation of option A, B, C and D. These are the options and you have to tell the right answer of this question. Dryden's All for Love is an adaptation of option C. Option C is the correct answer. Antonio and Cleopatra. This work was adopted by john dryden to write to compose his work all for love next question number 10 of this video we have which of the following book proposes a political theory yes out of which principia leviathan antonio antony of melancholy and liberty of professing these out of four works which one is related to the a political theory which has a concept related to political theory and the option we have and the correct answer here i'm going to tell you all option b option b is the correct answer leviathan this was the work of thomas hobbes thomas hobbes ka ye work hai and it this book of thomas hobbes leviathan is related to political theory yeah. question number 11 of this video which of the following books is written by a woman? Kon women ne kiss lady writer ne out of these four options work is written by a lady writer. 
जो वेमेन राइटर हैं उन्होंने कौन सी बुक इसमें से आउट ऑफ दीज फोर ऑप्शन में से कौन सी बुक लिखी हुई है आपको इसके क्वेश्चन का आंसर बताना है एंड वी हैव ऑप्शन अ बेनिडिक्शन ऑफ राइट ऑफ द राइट्स ऑफ वेमेन वेमेन सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अट्रिटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन नेचर एंड द वेल्थ ऑफ नेशन दीज ऑल आर द ऑप्शन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल द राइट आंसर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए येस फ्रेंड्स ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर अवेडिकेशन विंडिकेशन ऑफ द राइट ऑफ वेमेन इज रिटन बाई अ लेडी राइटर एंड हर नेम वॉज मैरी वुल स्टोन क्राफ्ट येस दिस वॉज द नेम ऑफ द राइटर हु हैड रिटन दिस वर्क एंड सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हिन जैक्स रूसो ने लिखा है अट्रिटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन नेचर इज रिटन बाई डेविड होम एंड वेल्थ ऑफ नेशन इज रिटन बाई एडम स्मिथ ऑल द थ्री ऑप्शन answer i have told you by the whom this work social contract strategies of human nature and wealth of nation was written but the women writer who had written a vindication of rights of women was mary wollstone craft next question we have and the next question which of the following book books by jonathan swift is a religious allegory option a b c and d have we have the options and the correct answer is option d a tale of tub this is the right answer a tale of tub is an religious allegory written by jonathan swift next we have which of the following is a visionary work by william blake william blake ka visionary work hai out of these four which one was that a b c and d option hai and we have the correct answer question number 13 ka correct answer jo hai wo option d hai yes the vision of the daughters is the visionary work of william blake next question number 14 of this video we have popes an essay on man is based on the ideas of a b and c d we have the option here and you have to tell the right answer friends please go for that go for the right of answer you must have given it and the right answer of this video of this question also question number 14 of this important mcqs of tgt pgt exams we have option c lord bolingbroke was the idea this is the way on the ideas pope had written an essay on man is based on the ideas of the lord bolling broke question number 15 of this video which of the following work by johnson is an imp imitation of the 10th satire of juvenal the correct answer is option b the vanity of human wishes this is the imitation of the 10th satire of juvenal and it was written by johnson samuel johnson has written this work we have the question number 16 of this video the final version of wordsworth the prelude appeared in william wordsworth prelude which was appeared in which this uh, the last version of this work prelude was appeared we have the option a b c and d e. and the correct answer of this question we have here please friends go for the right answer and now it's my turn to tell you the right answer and in the year 1850 the death year of william shakes william wordsworth he was died in 1850 and in the that year the final version of wordsworth prelude appeared next question number 17 to suffer woes which hope thinks infinite is a written by whom yes this was the line written by whom and option a b c d we have and the correct answer of this question is option a shelley pb shelley has written this line and this was the work of pb shelley number 18 of this video a thing of beauty is a joy for ever occurs in this is very famous line from the work of john keats and from which poem of john keats this was taken this line was written in which poem of john keats we have the option a b c and d and you must have given the right answer of this question friends question number 18 ka jo right answer hai wo main batane ja rahi hu aap sabhi ko and the option d 
option d is the correct answer in mian in mian is the work and in from this work this line a thing of beauty is a joy forever is taken next question number 19 of the video which of the following novel is satire on gothic novel gothic novel pe satire jo hai wo kaun sa work hai kaun sa novel hai of these out of four pride and prejudice emma sense and sensibility and north anger abbey these all are the work of jane austen jane austen who was the women novelist of english literature and the romantic case she has written these four novels and uh, all these four novels was written by jane jane austen and the right answer jo satire hai on gothic novel pe that is option d north anger abbey north anger abbey is the right answer and this is a novel of jane austen is a satire on gothic novel next question number 20 and this is the last question of this video of the first part of the important mcqs of related to tgt pgt exams of d triple sb kbs nbs and all state level exams who distinguished between the literature of knowledge and literature of power we have option coleridge de quincey hazlitt and lamb who had distinguished the difference between the literature of knowledge and literature of power and the correct answer is option b option b is the correct answer from mr quincy de quincy has distinguished between the literature of knowledge and literature of power friends please note down all the right answer of the these questions of these options whatever i have included in this video and please wait for the second part of this important mcqs of tgt pgt english literature exams and also watch out the other video videos uploaded on this channel angler zone and please give me a suggestion and give me any kind of thing you have in your mind or any kind of syllabus any kind of a topic you want a video on that topic please suggest me and please answer you can comment me in the comment section thank you very much for watching this